Okay. Uh, how long have you been a part of Maryland Images? I've been in Maryland Images since the spring 2011 semester, so going up to years. What made you want to join? I am a shameless know-it-all, um, and so I thought that Images would be a great outlet for all my wealth of knowledge, but I've always um, sort of grown up seeing the tour guides around campus, and as somebody who's really passionate about the University of Maryland, this just seemed like a natural fit. Um, and so you were in it when they walked backwards? Yes. Right. Uh, what, what do you think about the change? I think the new tour route really emphasizes the most beautiful places on campus, and so that's great. It also provides for more interaction with your visiting families, um, more so than if you're just talking at people for 90 minutes. That being said, I easily have 90 minutes worth of information, so I find it hard to like rein back and really um, control my information at stops, but that's something that I'm working on. Um, but I do think the new tour route really fixes a lot of the problems we had with the old route. It emphasizes a nicer area of campus. It keeps the information clean and concise. So it's been a great change overall. Um, I just happen to have my questions written on my phone now. I can't look at them. Um, uh, you have to do TURP for a day, don't you? Yes. What's that like? TURP for a day is wonderful. Um, it's a program for prospective students to come and shadow a current university student for the entire day. So they get to come and sit in classes or come with you to club meetings or just hear about what you're involved in. Um, and it's one of our most effective recruitment tools on campus because that way kids who want to be a business major get to come and sit in business classes, they get a more personalized visit experience, um, and they get a better idea of what they would be doing at the University of Maryland. Trip for days are really fun because the kids are always really enthusiastic about their subject and they're interested in your courses and they're there for a reason. Um, so it's just a really fun way to meet a high school student, to get to know them a lot better. And then also it's a student that you can follow up with in the, in the spring semester, see if they're really considering Maryland, and maybe give them that extra encouragement to commit to the University of Maryland. Right. Um, and I think, what do you like best about being at Maryland? I love the diversity of students and the diversity of opportunities at Maryland. Um, for me, that was one of the biggest things that made this university stand out to me. Um, I visited UVA and thought UVA was beautiful until I realized that everybody walked out of a J. Crew magazine and was like chilling on campus. Um, and so for me, the University of Maryland, the diversity of students, not only in cultural or ethnic background, but in the languages that they speak, in the majors that they study, the fact that we have so many LGBT programs on campus, I think Maryland is really an inclusive university and that's something that appeals greatly to me. Um, and then on top of that, that there are so many programs, organizations, clubs, employment opportunities available to students because we are such a large, large university and because we have all these research efforts and the proximity to DC, there are opportunities that you can get involved in with Maryland that you can't do anywhere else. And um, just overall, what's it like to be a tour guide? <laughs> it's so fun. Um, joining Maryland Images was definitely the best thing that I did with my college career and all my friends are tour guides and it seems like we don't have a lot in common but we're all loud and witty and sarcastic and so it's been a great group of people to meet and befriend um, and people that I wouldn't ordinarily have met through my major through my living learning program. Great. Right.